Today we're going to review part number T3584F-EZ-8974. This is the Dexter trailer axle with the Easy Lube spindles and a 3500 pound weight capacity. Now this axle beam will act as part of your trailer suspension system. This will be used to replace an axle on your trailer. It is made of a high strength steel construction. Now also axles are built with a predetermined bend in the tube that will compensate for the expected deflection under load. So if you look at this axle actually in the very middle, I got it sitting in its position. It will raise up in the middle and there's actually room underneath here. <clears throat> so it has that predetermined bend and basically that bend in the axle will help create a zero camber angle for even road to tread contact across the width of your trailer's tires. This is best for straight line acceleration and steady controlled towing. Now this axle is also a high strength steel construction. It is an underslung design. Basically the spring seats, the one right here. <coughs> you can see that seat right here. And then there's one on this end. Basically they are welded to the underside of the axle for mounting your leaf springs to. Now the leaf springs we do sell separately. But basically the underslung design will make a low ride height which makes it easier to load and unload your trailer. Now this axle has the straight Easy Lube spindles. There's no drop to it. They have the built-in grease zerk fittings on each end. Right here, basically that will allow you to lubricate the bearings by putting a grease gun on that zerk fitting. <clears throat> now the spindle nut, the nut retainer, and the D washer all come also with this axle. Now the spring seats, the brake flanges here, the four bolt brake flanges, and the spindles are all welded on. <clears throat> Now the weight capacity on this is 3,500 pounds. Now basically there are multiple ways to measure the length of an axle beam, but the hub face to hub face and the spring center to spring center lengths are your most accurate. The hub face will refer to the length of the axle when it's measured from the base of one wheel stud to the base of the wheel stud on the opposite side of the axle. So basically your hubs would have to be mounted and then you'd measure from the base of the one wheel stud on your hub to the base of the other on the other side. <clears throat> now the spring center is the approximate width of your trailer. It's measured from the center of the spring seat on one side to the center of the spring seat on the other side. So just to give you an idea on this axle, we'll first do the hub face to hub face measurement. Now I don't have the hubs on here, but I'm going to give you a rough idea of where they will be. <clears throat> So the hub face to hub face length for this axle will be 89 inches. Now the spring center to spring center length, we'll measure from the center to the center, is going to be 74 inches. Now there is a flange to flange length, which is basically the brake flange to brake flange length. Now that's not as accurate as the other ones, but it can be used if you're replacing an axle on your trailer. In this case, it's 82 and 5 eighths inches, flange to flange length. <clears throat> now the tubing outer diameter on this is 2 and 3 eighths inches diameter. Spindle size is 1 and 1 sixteenths. And again, the brake flange configuration is a 4 bolt design. Now one other note I just want to mention to you, if you'll notice the sticker right over here, this white sticker, this is the manufacturer sticker. Now this will always face the rear of the trailer, so this axle, when it's positioned, this will face the rear. So this will be the left side of the trailer, this will be the right side of the trailer. And the reason I mention that is you'll notice there's two loops of wire, one here, one on that side. So basically the wiring on a trailer will usually come the, down this left side, and you'll tie it into that wire there. So basically on the left side, it'll connect to the electric brakes and the wiring on the trailer and then that wire runs through the axle and over here on the right side the wiring will just connect to the brakes. <clears throat> and that should do it for the review on part number T3584F-EZ-8974 the Dexter trailer axle with the Easy Lube spindles and a 3500 pound weight capacity. <clears throat>